Howdy there. Let's talk about success. Well, um, where to start? What is it? What is it? What the fuck is happening to people? Why is it that it seems so much more people are having such a harder time at life while there's such tremendous abundance all around us? You can buy, get, or have just about anything you could want or imagine in this life. We live in a society of global abundance and uh, just riches. And, and, and it sometimes surprises me both how much people who don't have anything believe that there isn't enough and how much people who have more than enough are still not enough inside. It's kind of fucking depressing, actually, if you ask me. If you sit and think about it long enough, you think to yourself, well, what is all this striving for? How can I even really know if I'm happy? What does it mean to be happy? And so I'm just going to redefine success. Because I thought a lot about this. I mean, I was a kid who grew up who always wanted stuff more. Uh, I wanted to hang out with smarter people. I wanted to go places where people were wealthier than I was. And I have to tell you that, like, I've done a lot of that stuff. I've been in and among uh, a lot of successful people, hung around successful people, been friendly with successful, and when I say successful people, highly uh, financially abundant people, highly intelligent people, people who were successful in a worldly sense. And I gotta say that like when I have spent time with them and then spend time with my friends who are like, you know, from a borough, they've worked their whole life, they live in or near the same apartment that they grew up in. They don't have anything really in their savings account. The problems are the same. So, and as I'm looking at like more and more problems emanating from mental health amongst people who have a lot, seemingly have a lot, um, you're like, what is happening? You know, and again, it just proves what I already know. It's like, I cannot be made happy by more money, a hotter guy, um, more shit in my closet, a nicer car, a better job. And I'm not discounting any of those things at all. Because <laughs> I have a nice apartment and I have a good, I don't have a job, I have good work. I have beautiful work, I have plentiful work, I have purposeful work. Um, I'm driving the car I want and it's paid for. Um, I'm with a guy I think is hot and interesting and fun to be around. And, and you know what? If all that stuff went away tomorrow, I'd still just be just as happy. Because success isn't something I chase. Success is something I own. It's not something I chase. It's something I own. And that means that no matter if I feel successful in a worldly sense with riches or stuff, or a good looking human being by my side or the right job. It means if that stuff is here or not here, I still feel successful because I am success. And that doesn't mean I've always felt that way. And that doesn't mean I'll feel this way forever. But I'll tell you what I have. So I have a foundation of success that knows that I am what I wanna be. And if I'm not, it's the problem is here. There are no limitations or lack in the world that are preventing me from being more successful than I want to be, other than my own mind. And if, in fact, I achieve that success and I still have problems within my own mind, well, then that's what needs to be addressed, not more getting more money. It's actually like addressing what the problem is here, where the lack is. The lack is not in my bank account. The lack is in my mind. You know, And it's so powerful, this idea to me, more and more and more. And I sat with someone this morning and we talked about, you know, she lives a different life than I have. She's married, she has children. You know, I'm not married, I've never had children, I've never been married. We live very different lives, but we also have a lot in common. We grew up very much the same. And we were talking about having, you know, a chalet in Vermont or a house in the Hamptons and, and talking about the deeper things that we've gone through in terms of our own self-esteem and how those are the most important things. I am wealthy because I love myself. I am successful because I have a foundation within that can handle anything that comes my way. And, you know, that didn't happen overnight. And that didn't happen because I took the easy route. That happened because I went through some shit, some nasty shit. 
that I'm actually happy that I went through, to tell the truth. When it's all said and done, I'm grateful for every bit of it. Yeah, because success is not out there. It's in here. I hope you realize that today. I hope you realize how valuable you are, how much you're worth. And it has nothing to do with the digits in your bank account. It has everything to do with who you are. And if you think it's about the digits in your bank account, that's because the lack is in who you think you are. So anyway, hit me up if you want to talk more about that, about how to be worthy. Thanks for spending time with me. Have a great day.